for Amy Rose. You know, Marcus, there's a reason why uh, Tupac came out with that album called Columinati. Why? Uh, you didn't expect me to know that, did you? Teach me! Oh. Illuminati, all through your body. Remember that? Yeah. Very useful, gangster. Thank you. Thank you. Invisible melanin. Um. Uh, So, uh, it is Pride Month, and everything is gay now. Y'all should be so proud. Um, right? <laughs> well, yeah, because he's right, everybody eats ass, and that's grody, right? Um, well, here's the thing, though. Um, I have a theory, because I, I have theories, as you probably already know. And, um, we have this theory that, you know, the language, they're telling you what they're doing through the language. And, you know, people start saying certain phrases or words all the time. And some word uh, that they use a lot is literally. And they start misusing that word. And literally used to mean, you know, matter of fact. And now it just means, like, I literally um, am going to kill everybody, you know? But hopefully you don't do that. Right? Well, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so that people start misusing that word a lot. And I've, I've noticed people start misusing the uh, phrase, uh, rip you a new asshole, <laughs> you know? Because this world is a prison, right? It is. That's my worldview. Um, so, <laughs> less common rules of thumb. Uh, just because something can fit into a hole does not mean that that's what the hole is for. Okay? Um, let's see. I, I think that um, I'm going to start sending thank you cards to really terrible people online. So it's going to say thank you for reminding me how not to use the internet. Oh. Let's see. Social media feels a lot like spying, you know, but people give me binoculars and I'm spying into their brain. You know, that's what I call Twitter nitwitter. Um, so I'd like everybody to take a moment of silence for those whose narcissism wouldn't allow silence. They don't get to do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to do that one. Ah! Okay, so the name of this joke is if people had self-awareness. Um. I should just kill myself. Don't do that. <laughs> um. uh, you know that term crazy cat lady? Well, I'm sure you know that I'm one of those bitches. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, I meow all the time. That's not a joke. I know a lot of people do that. I don't think I'm so original for that. But I find it funny, though, when people, like, they use that term as, like, a pejorative. So if you're a crazy cat lady, that means you're going to die alone, as if that's some sort of a threat. Um, I'm the man. There's a man inside my head, and he is manifested. Um, but, uh, cats are definitely schizophrenic, though. They are, because they, they have like nine lives, right? And we have like 250 lives. Um, but, uh, and they're, they're nocturnal. They're nocturnal. We stay up one night because our pineal gland is, is jacked up. Which is fine. We accept. More fun happens at nighttime, right? Way more fun. Um, but uh, one, one main difference between cats and schizophrenics, though, is that uh, cats do remember to bathe. <laughs> If only I could lick myself, <laughs> I would lick myself. Hell, hell. 
kind of just a little side song there. Um, let's see. Uh, there are a lot of people on Twitter. I really hate people on Twitter. Have I not mentioned that enough? Um, uh, there are a lot of people on Twitter that say they're, they're fat phobic. Have you seen that a lot? Fat phobic. I say, in America, you better get the fuck out before you die of fright. <laughs> oh, shit. Um. Oh, yeah, I take pride in cleaning my cat's litter box. <laughs> That's one thing to take pride in, that makes sense, okay? Um. Oh, so I don't have fat phobia, I have at phobia. I'm afraid of people on Twitter. <laughs> That's really funny, man. I, I just came up with that, y'all. Just to let you know the geniusness, okay? Um, so, did, is that one light mean one minute, one minute left? Yeah. Thank you, honey. Merry Christmas. No, no. I will not, I will not acknowledge that. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm not white! You told me I wasn't white! So stop treating me like another white person because I'm not. Um. Oh, anyway, uh, let me see. There's no such thing as a stupid question. You know how a lot of people say that? There's no such thing as a stupid question. Not as long as women exist. <laughs> but women, women ask a lot of stupid questions. Like, honestly, I'm surprised that my father has not beaten my mother over the head with a frying pan. Okay? Because I have self-awareness, and that's something that a lot of people lack. And my goal when I do comedy is to try to get some of that back. Okay, did it work? Did it work? Does anybody feel more aware? Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you very much. Love you. Now give it up one more time for Amy Gross. Her box of newspapers. <laughs> Y'all understand? Like she, she literally come here to make the show by that box. I don't know what y'all don't know. She doesn't do nothing else. And she gets here and she start writing and then throwing paper everywhere. Sometimes it be fucking snow underneath us. Like so much goddamn paper. Sometimes I'm like, Jesus Christ. I've never seen nobody do that before, but her. So gotta give it up for Amy Gross one time. Old school. She's got the fur down there like Ronique. They're best friends. Uh, meow. <laughs> meow. Exactly. Uh, we're going to keep this motherfucker going. Y'all, please.